Good morning. Your merciful love, O oh God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, Lord Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. And my dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are sent to heal the contract heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, all your faithful with holy joy, whereon those you have rescued from slavery to sin. You bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, when Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of the Egypt I called my son. The more I called them, the farther they went from me, sacrificing to Baals and burning incense to idols. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet, though I stood to feed my child, they did not know that I was being healer. My heart is overwhelmed. My pity is stilled. I will not give van to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again, for I am God and not man, the Holy One present among you. I will not let the flames consume you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth, rose your power. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine, and profit that your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom yourself may strong. Let, Let us see, see your face, Lord, Lord and, and we shall be saved. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may proclaim his gospel worthily and well, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. Procl Proclamation, the kingdom of, of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cause you have received, without cause you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey, or a second tunic, or sandals, or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it 
and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, we say peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that, that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our first reading today, we have God, I would picture him sitting down with his elbows on his knees, holding up his chin and saying, oh, where and why have they done what they've done? Where have they gone? Why have they left me? And perhaps just like a human being, he would say, well, where have I gone wrong? What did I do that caused them to leave me? You see, in the first reading, the writer is having God look at creation and look at Israel. And Israel has wandered away. And God is saying, look at what all the things I've done for you. I've saved you. I've given you. What more can you ask from me? Why have you left me? But notice also, that after all this moaning and groaning by God, which is very natural and very welcome, he doesn't give up. He says, I'll do it for you. I'll continue to do it for you. I'm not like a human, as the scripture says. I will not bend my anger. I will continue to give you what you need, even though you have wandered. But let us switch away from God for a moment now and go to humans. How many parents can say what God is saying? I've raised my children. I've given them everything they need. I've supported them. I've given them a good education. I've taught them about the Lord. I've brought them to church. I prayed the rosary with them. And now they don't go to church. And now they wander into all kinds of relationships. What have I done wrong? Perhaps that's the first response that a parent would say, what have I done wrong? But later they'd say, I've done nothing wrong. I've given myself completely to my children, and they've wandered. They've wandered away from, some even from the family, but they've wandered away from the church. There doesn't seem to be any prayer life in them that I'm aware of. And yet, as a good parent, I will not give up on them. I will stay with them. I will support them, and I will continue to pray for them. That's what a good parent does. Doesn't say, okay, you're on your own, separate from me. Even if someone has all kinds of problems, sometimes it's good to say, well, now stand on your own, but know that I'm in the background. I'm not going to be that present, but I'm in the background. But I'm not going to keep rescuing you until you stand on your own two feet. But I'll pray for you. And I'll continue to support you in other ways, but you have to stand on your own two feet. Then I will welcome you, and we will be back together. That's what our blessed Lord is saying to his nation, to his world, to his church. Come back to me. Come back to the graces that you need. I know you have wandered, but now it's time to return. And I will give you what you need to stay close to me. Empty yourself of all those things that have drawn you away and fill yourself with me. 
and then we will have that happy relationship. We now will have the prayers of the faithful. For missionaries at home and abroad, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For preachers and prophets, both within and outside our communities, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For messengers of healing and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who rely on the hospitality of others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who provide for travelers and refugees, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who bring good news to the sick, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who welcome the gospel message, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who await the end of life's journey, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we pray for all victims of cancer, especially Kamei. We ask your blessing upon them and bring about a cure in their life. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we hold in the quiet of our Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we thank you for all the gifts you have given to us. Yes, we have wandered, but now we've come back to you. Open your arms and receive us, and give us the graces we need to stay close to you. And we ask for this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Disorder and when we come to him, to the book, wrong and self equality and anarchy. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. And that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and glory of your okay. name. For our good and the and of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, 
that without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for my for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit always. And now let us offer one another the peace of Christ. Peace. Peace.
Lamb of God, you take Take away away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not ready to enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace of Christ and glorify him by your life. Thanks be to God. You know, I am acquainted with 25 of the letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. Have a good day.